Now let's do a full diagnostic scan of the medial elbow, especially visualizing the ulnar collateral ligament. The first thing that we're going to do, we want to make sure we have our patient laying in the lateral, uh, the cubitus position with the elbow flex at approximately el uh, 70 degrees of elbow flexion. We also want to make sure the hand is uh, uh, fully supinated. At this point, we're going to use a high frequency linear probe transducer on our high resolution ultrasound machine. And we're going to start to um, visualize the anterior band of the ulnar collateral ligament, which is the primary elbow restraint especially in overhead throwers. The first thing that we want to find is the <clears throat> medial apicondyle, which is going to be the bony contour. In this uh, image, I'm going to find my ulnar, I mean, I'm sorry, my uh, medial apicondyle on the left side of the screen. So proximal is going to be on the left side. Distal is going to be on the right side. So the first thing we, we, want, to, we want to find is, again, the bony contour of the medial apicondyle right here. And at this level, we want to Get into picture the distal attachment of the UCL, which is the subline tubercle, and then we're going to scrutinize that area until we get a nice fibular angle or fibular structure. And that is my ulnar collateral ligament. We get a better angle right there. So at this point, we're seeing the bony attachment, proximal attachment of the ulnar collateral ligament, the band, which is going to be this nice triangular fibular hyperechoic tissue going from the proximal attachment to the distal attachment of the subline tubercle. At this, uh, this level, we could see if there's any tears, if there's any calcification. Sometimes we see that in, in uh, overhead throwers. And we could get a pretty good picture of the ulnar collateral ligament. The other thing that we could do at this level, I'm going to unfreeze my image again, is we could dynamically stress the UCL. Again, we want to anchor ourselves into that same image and we want to concentrate into the ulna humeral joint space, which is going to be this one right here. I'm going to get a better uh, image of that. There it is. And at this point, we could do a dynamic valgus stress. And I want you guys to concentrate right where the arrow is at. That's the uh, ulnar humeral joint space. Now, this is an intact UCL because this, is, this athlete has never had an, an injury to this uh, UCL. So there's going to be minimal uh, gapping, what we call ulnar humeral joint space gapping. There it is. You could actually see some movement, but in an intact UCL, this is what it should look like. In an injured UCL, that joint space gapping should open significantly more, and you could always uh, measure the, like, the, the uh, stress minus rest. And that would give you a pretty quick, easy, dynamic examination of the ulnar collateral ligament. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this helpful. Thank you.